Each new season brings with it the introduction of new lures, some of which are destined to become a staple part of our angling repertoire. Here's a sure winner for small mouths, a fundamental design that's been tweaked for better performance and irresistible action. Aye. Beautiful start to a beautiful morning. Wow, this is a big fish. I can get a grip on him here. Look at there, wow. Ice out smallmouth for sure. And he is just cold as an ice cube, man. And here's what I wanna really maybe focus on is a couple of the new power bait options from Berkeley and their Pro Series. And so this is the Pro Shad. And of course, if you followed in fishermen for any length of time, you know that I love to fish paddle tails a lot. So we're started, beautiful fish right there. I'm gonna fish, continue fishing this little deep ledge here. So just long cast, and then just let her drop to the bottom and nothing unusual about the retrieve, just a slow grind, stop, uh, maintain contact with the bottom occasionally, grind it along a little more, maybe snap, snap. Got a beautiful action to it. There we go, got him. There's a little bunch, there's a, I fished this spot before and there's a little lip it goes from 18 down to 20 foot two, and that's where these fish are right now. Let's see if we can get this one in. I'll show you the shad a little bit better. Boy, this one's staying deep, man. Oh, that's a big walleye. Everything eats these shads, that's why I like them. Look at there. Wow, pretty fish, huh? Man, oh man, that's a surprise. Sort of, not really. The fish love that little paddle tail. Mr. Thrashy. All right, come on in here. Nice fish. Wow. Up and in. Ha ha. Second fish of the day. I wasn't really expecting walleyes on this spot, but there's certainly a lot of them in this lake for sure. And so you can get that out of there. Boy, he's got those old teeth just ready and raring to go. Per pretty for sure. Nice. Beautiful in the sunshine, aren't they? Ah. And really, that's a surprise because I'm fishing for smallmouth and this is typically a smallmouth spot, but I've caught hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of walleyes on these paddle tails like this. So I know this is gonna be a good one a little bit later on. I'll probably fish it a lot over shallower rock humps and, and uh, on weed edges for the walleyes. All right, back you go. Let's have a little closer look at this bait. You can see it's thin on the bottom. It's got the shad shaped body to it. And then the tail is actually almost articulated. You can see that it's thin and then it's got these little thick spots and then of course the thumper tail. And one of the ways that I love to rig this is just a little bit off kilter. A lot of times with the grubs in particular, you wanna make sure it's right in the middle of that lamination on top of the bait. But a lot of times with these minnow type lures, if you just rig it like where the lateral line would be on the actual shad itself, when you snap it, it's got more flash and it fishes just as well on the slow grind. So you've seen the shad. Let me pick up the, uh, the new grub and I'll show you that too. Pretty standard looking grub, got the curl tail going right there. Uh, this one's actually got a little head and eyes on it. so. Apparently, the boys at Berkeley consider that this should be fishtail down like this, although it really doesn't make any difference. So you've got a three inch lure right here, soft bait body. It's got some ribs on it, and then the, the curl tail. And as I will show you compared to the regular power bait grub, it's a little bit thicker tail, a little bit more compact bait overall. There's one. Let me get the net here. Beautiful fish, that man. Wow, wow, wow. Man, oh man, beautiful. Beautiful fish. Wow. Wow, well, he's got the big shoulders going there. Beautiful dorsal fins. And the sunshine is so nice this morning. Beautiful. Grub right in the mouth there, could just barely feel him nip that. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful. 
You know, and in the case of that uh, shad bait, I'm not saying that you have to fish it off kilter. You can fish it straight up and down, just like you absolutely have to on these grubs, fish them like that. Uh, these are pressed together, and there's a lamination line across the top, and you want your hook point to be running about, oh, just about a third of the way into the bait, maybe almost as far in as sometimes a half of the way in, and then coming out right on that lamination line, so this is perfect rig, perfectly straight like that. And these baits, depending on which head you actually use, have there's more action inherent in here than just the tail flickering, because with this flatter head like I've got right here, um, the tail tends to anchor the bait in place, so the tail is going while the head is actually moving back and forth like this too. So you've got two actions in one, and you say, well, why use the shad or instead of this and vice versa? Well, different profile once again, so a different visual picture and then a different vibration picture. So sometimes they'll be on one, sometimes they'll be on the other. There we go. It's such a beautiful day. And that's kind of a big old boy right there. Well, not that big, but not bad. Oh man, is this fun. And it's just great to have some new products that you can have absolute confidence in. So that grub is gonna be a winner, or is, I should say, already a winner. And that paddle tail, I'm gonna catch just a ton of fish on that paddle tail, I know that. Two great options there for you to consider, new options. And the difference, once again, is profile difference and a vibration difference. So there are two key baits. Today doesn't seem to be making any difference. Wow, what a day to be on the water, eh? Ice out, 41 degree water temperatures, and the smallmouths are on fire.